The following is brought to you by Headcase on Stars. Recent surveys show that over 60% of Americans are now overweight, a statistic that is not lost on the 2008 presidential hopefuls. They're interested in, in, in my vote and they'll eat the things that I, that I like to eat. Candidates have been stopping in cities across the country to show fat voters that they love eating just like them. I thought Romney's fried chicken speech was great. I like people who really find it important to get in there and eat. At a recent fundraising dinner, Rudolph Giuliani was greeted with applause after stating his commitment to eat at least seven hot dogs and promptly following through with that promise. Hillary Clinton drummed up fat support in Madison, Wisconsin, telling the crowd that if elected, she would put rock road in every public school cafeteria. It made me like her better and it made me want to have some ice cream. Experts predict the focus on food will intensify as election day draws nearer. It's going to bring some of these fatter issues to the forefront and uh, you know that can only help the fat community. Dietitians expect all candidates to gain 30 to 40 pounds by November, putting them solidly in line with the majority of voters. The difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist is I can't prescribe medication. But I've always been in favor of electric shock therapy anyway. <laughs> <Psst>. <laughs> oh.